UCLA pulls off a 61 to 59 upset over Arizona State this afternoon here at Wells Fargo Arena alongside WCSN women's basketball writer Gabby Ducharme. I'm Gareth Kwok and Gabby, Arizona State, they came off a top 10 victory over Oregon State last weekend, but here on Friday, they lose to UCLA. What was the difference here that led to the loss? Well, honestly, Gareth, the biggest difference here was rebounding wise. I mean, you know, uh, UCLA really out rebounded uh, Arizona State in both the first half and the second half. It was uh, 40 to 37 overall by the conclusion of the basketball game. And uh, UCLA really dominated on the glass. And uh, I mean, Arizona State struggled. They played a little bit softer than they usually would. And uh, UCLA kind of hung around and ended up uh, coming out with a big victory here at Wells Fargo Arena. Yeah, indeed, Arizona State tonight, this game marked their only their third game where they've been out rebounded by their opponent. Now on offense, it seemed like they were trying to get it to Kiana Ibis a lot. She took a lot of shots, but in the end, the offense didn't seem like it had their flow. What do you think led to the problems in scoring this afternoon? I mean, honestly, I think they just really did not get it into Kiana Ibis at the spots that she usually gets it. I mean, credit UCLA's bigs for doing a really good job of playing defense on her. You know, she struggled to get into her post moves and stuff like that that she's usually comfortable with doing. She's a great jump shooter, and she really kind of struggled to just get going today. So credit to UCLA for some great defense. Now, as we look ahead to Sunday, Arizona State takes on USC at 1 o'clock p.m. here at Wells Fargo Arena. Gabby, what's going to be the difference here in order to split this home series? The biggest difference here is UCLA is going to have to hit the ground running and play consistent defense for 40 straight minutes. Well, again, Arizona State, they dropped a 4-4 four and four in Pac-12 play, and hopefully they can split the weekend series against two schools from Los Angeles. So, anyway, for Gabby Dujarm, I'm Gareth Kwok, Cronkite Sports.